Welcome to Rootstem Gaming. This is a 2000 point bunker assault from a strong point set in the chapter approved book. We've got Crimson Fist Space Marines versus the Purge Chaos Space Marines. So this is going to be a 2000 point dying days of Zayaf campaign game um, we've got Granger's Chaos Forces attacking the planet of Tuatha after the success of the Crimson Fists in the last game um, the Crimson Fists are defending this particular position as well it's going to be a bunker assault game so there's going to be some fortifications on the table once we deploy losing my breath um, and uh, this is section 42 that's been attacked by the Purge and it's actually been defended by none other than Pedro Cantor. So this is my 2000 point Crimson Fist army. Uh, it's based around the Strong Point Defender Detachment, which will give me five command points to spend on Strong Point uh, Defend. Well, Strong Point stratagems only, uh, so I can't spend them on everything. Might have been a bit of a tactical error, but it does mean I'm, I'm getting a lot of bunkers. So yeah, I've got three of the Bastions. Apologies for the one on the left not being painted. This is not like me. The middle one will probably be the one with the uh, particular scanner that allows you to do a plumbing bombardment in the game. And we've got Pedro Cantor leading the Crimson Fists. He's backed up by a Primaris lieutenant, uh, Lieutenant, sorry, I keep saying the American version. We've got three troop choices, one unit of scouts with snipers and rocket, they've all got camo cloaks. Another unit of scouts with power fist, close combat weapons and a heavy bolter. Unit of eight primary intercessors. The reason they're eight is because I needed to fill out some points. And then we've got some heavy support choices of five uh, hell blasters. I do like the hell blasters with our standard weapon. And then, yes, the people that, uh, the three lads that uh, don't seem to get much love in this club. Uh, <laughs> the Devastator Centurions. Thanks. <laughs> Try and edit that out. Uh, they've also got a unit of stern guard. Uh, so these are figures that I've kind of mocked up using a lot of beaky helmets because of course crimson fists. You need to have some Mark Six armor. Two heavy bolters in that unit. Sergeant with power fist. Everyone else has got a standard special issue bolt gun. And then land speeder storm to carry the scouts. It's got the Cerberus launcher, which is a bit like a standard, a bit like a heavy bolter and a heavy bolter. And the rules for that are basically any unit on inside the uh, the actual vehicle can fire out, but if the vehicle moves, they do count as moving on the inside. Right, let's take you over to the Chaos Force. This is a 2000 point The Purge Chaos Space Marines. Welcome back, Grange. Yay! Grange, of course, being the player that I always play this campaign with because it's just. A two-player campaign. Do you want to run us through your army then, good sir? Yes. It's a, well, we have a battalion. Yep. Uh, two HQs. Right. We have a sorcerer. So we're guessing that's that that's, guy there. That's that chap there in Terminator armor. Yeah. Uh, Force Dave and a Cobby Melter. Oh, right. Okay. Uh, the other HQ choice is a Demon Prince. He will be my Ooh. warlord today. Um, um, what's your uh, Chaos Space Marine trait? Is it just undivided? It's undivided. It's the is it Renegades, the one which yeah. allows me to advance and charge. No problem. And uh, I'm guessing these are your troop choices. Troop choices for the bat uh, for the battalion are yeah. three units of six Chaos Space Marines. Yep. All with close combat weapons. I can see you've had from a, Is that an accident from the Games Workshop spray? Well, that horrible kind yeah. of dust. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I do like the two new rhinos and then the classic. Oh yeah, look at that thing of beauty. I do, I do like the That's classics. older than the internet. <laughs> <laughs> That's how old that is. You used to be able to pick up three of them for six quid. Oh, can't pick but, anything yeah, up for six quid. I can't pick anything up for six pound now, but there we go. Uh, I'm guessing a variety of weapons in there. Uh, yeah, so two of them have got melter, uh, yeah. melter guns, special weapons, and power fists, yeah. and this one's power fist, plasma pistol, and a plasma pi uh, plasma gun. No problem. Uh, into the elites, yeah. we have a unit of terminators, as seen. So we've got power fists, combi melters, reprotor cannon. Yeah. 
then another elite choice is my Hellbrute Yay. with Plasma Cannon and Hellbrute Hammer. Yeah. Uh, fast attack, we have a unit of six bikes. Which seems to be a staple of yours, to be honest. Uh -huh. Quite an hard unit, actually. Two wounds, toughness five, three plus armour. And brutally underwhelming. Yeah, <laughs> did, so did, far, did, so did, far. Uh, Everyone else I watched seemed to be able to do them all right, but you always seem to fail no, with them for some no. reason. Uh, then in the heavy slots, we have uh, old school Predator. That is awesome. A, a heavy bolt, uh, sorry, with the uh, auto cannon. Yeah. And then two last cannons. That is proper old school. And then a uh, Land Raider, which will one day be painted. One day be painted. So right, I've got one unpainted figure, so I think we're going to let you off with one unpainted figure as well. Still, more figures painted than Ben will ever have. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm a stuck on a particular Warlord trait with me having Pedro. Uh, but what's your Warlord trait, good sir? Uh, the Warlord trait is... Um, an excellent question. Okay. And it's flame, Flames of Spite. Flames of Spite. What does that do? Uh, some stuff from a book. Okay. <laughs> and what relic are you taking with this unit? I'm not taking one. You're not taking a relic? No, because right. oh, none of the actual... Because it's like replace a power sword or replace this, that, the other. Right. None of the relics actually work for what any of the uh, toys are armed with. Not a problem. So I'm just not going to bother. Not going to bother with a relic? No yeah. problem at all? Right. We are playing, like I say, Strong Point Assault. Uh, it's going to be a Bunker Assault game, which hopefully is going to be on the screen at the moment. Um, there is some special limitations which you need to know about. Bunkers and fortifications in this get a plus one to hit, so we're hitting on fours rather than hitting on fives. Um, the infantry, the opposing infantry and the attacker's army all have the ability to cause mortal wounds in combat because of all the casters armed with breaching charges. So if they do get into combat with the bunkers, do score a six to wound, they will be able to cause a mortal wound in addition to any other damage. And of course there is a list, a very big list, of various different stratagems that both me and Granger will have access to during the game. Because I've taken a particular defender uh, force organisation though, I can only spend five of my command points on those stratagems and three on whatever else I wish to choose to do so. Whereas Grange has been sensible, taken a battalion and can choose to pick eight. Uh, from anything, including the ones in his chaos book. Right, we'll get set up, and uh, then we'll take you to see who's going to get first turn. So some nice setups going on. Uh, Grange has deployed a couple of units in the rhinos down this side. He's got his land raider and his predator with his lord. A couple of units sustaining reserve, a terminators and a chaos sorcerer. I think he's learnt that trick from me uh, and uh, the bikes and the other rhinos down his right hand flank back here. Sorcerer's I know Sorcerer so is deep striking it's what I do with my librarian with jump pack yeah. so <laughs> on my left I've got um, the land speed of storm that's going to have the scout squads in there we've got the eight primaris uh, interse intercessors yeah that'll do and we've got the scouts as well there on top of the building. They're kind of trying to protect that left flank. And I've gone heavy on the right, centre to right flank with the bunkers. So the first bunker's got a unit Hellblasters inside. The second one has the Centurions with the uh, defence port. And the last one has the Sto uh, Stern Guard plus Cantor and Lieutenant. Now normally me and Grange, when we've played these games before, we always say if there's a character inside the building then he can actually give his ability to the unit that's accompanying him but cannot give it to anybody that's outside so effectively on this one the stern guard will get re-rolls to hit and re-roll ones to wound because of the characters inside the building right we're just going to do a bit of uh, command pointing and then we'll roll to see who gets first turn this is very different as well because in this mission it's a roll of a dice and a one to three the attacker gets first turn and on a four to six the defender gets first turn so I think we're just going to roll that now while I'm on camera, and then we can do all the command point and stuff afterwards. One to three, so it's the attacker has the first turn. I can't stop this, I can't interrupt anything. So he's going to be able to come onto the assault, so we'll, uh, we'll do the command points and we'll tell you about them when we come back after Granger's movement phase. So a breakdown of Granger's movement, pretty much everything has assaulted and ran forward. Um, with him being renegade, it does mean that his bikes are going to be able to actually charge still, even though they've advanced, which makes them quite a deadly unit. They did fire him out a gun into the Primaris, didn't do anything. 
Um, these guys have shifted forward. Terminator's in that uh, tank's going to be a little bit devastating for me, I think. And then these two rhinos have hurtled forward. That space marine's not supposed to be there, but it was actually on top of one of the rhinos and kept falling off. And then that thundering juggernaut's moved forward as well. So we've already done some heavy bolt of fire. Uh, just to make you aware, this one spent two command points to fortify the building. So that building now has a two plus save compared to the others. And then he's opened fire with his heavy bolters into this building. Knocked off a wound so far. We've now got four last cannons to go with. So, here we go. All hit. All hit. Toughness oh. nine. for now. Leave for now. So we've got one wound. So one wound minus a three. So I'm going to need a six to save. I'll re-roll that. <laughs> no, no six. D6 damage on the bunker. Three. Another three. That will take it down to 16 wounds. Any others? Uh, yep, they're predator at the back. We'll also fire everything into the there. Predator at the back, which stood still. If he did move, though, just a reminder, that firing against the buildings, he will actually be able to uh, plus one uh, well, he wouldn't get the minus one for moving and firing with a heavy weapon. But what are you firing first? Two last cannons. Two last cannons. We've got one hit. One hit. It's Wounded. a wound again. I've saved it Not on a enough. six. Uh, two D three shots from the predator auto cannon. That's four. That'll be four. four. Drop, drop that one. So he's got three hits. And he's going to need fives. Oh, we got one. I've uh, forgotten what the minus is on that. But I'm just going to roll anyway. Uh, it's gone through. And I believe is it two or three damage. That's taken that down to flat 13 damage. So that's Granger's shooting phase done. Because as you can see from my nice little red run counters. A lot of units have actually advanced forward. So we're going to do some overwatch. And then some charging. Because I'm guessing it's going to be hurtling into these Primaris Marines. And we've fought the battle down here. Wasn't very exciting. Grange lost a biker to Overwatch. He managed to kill a, a Primaris Marine with his attacks and wound another. And then the Primaris Marine attacks back have managed to wound one of his bikers. So pretty much basically a bit of a standoff there between them two units. But we're going to go into my turn one. Let's see what the Crimson Fists can do with their initial volley of firepower. A quick breakdown on my movement, which is not much. Uh, the scouts have got out of the vehicle and gone that side. The storm's gone over there to try and take on that rhino. And nothing else. We've done a little bit of shooting. Bolt pistols, very accurate, highly devastating bolt pistols yeah. from the uh, intercessors. Managed to take out the wounded bike. Uh, the storm's opened fire with its, its pitiful small arms, really. Not done anything. And these guys here, they fired the rocket onto the land raider, which you can see down there. And the snipers, they've actually just impacted against the Chaos Lord, well, the uh, Demon Prince at least, and actually did nothing, didn't even roll any wounds on those. So we're going to cut to now my Centurion Devastators. They're going to fire everything they have into that building. Into that building, well, it technically is a building, that Land Raider. I have used two command points from my... Command point pool for the bunkers to give them ammunition store, which basically means I can re-roll all hit rolls with this unit. So I'm going to start off with the last cannons. G. Oh, I needed them to wound. Uh, change some dice. <laughs> two wounds. So that's a minus of three. Land Raiders is two plus armor, so it's going to need fives. No. No, any command points? No. Any command points? Yeah, gonna have to. So that's five wounds from the last cannons so far. So 11 wounds left. We've gone on to the rockets. This is 3d3 shots. Oh, this is not looking good so far. It's four shots. Needing threes. Reroll. All hit. Needing fours with a minus of two. One wound. There's four. It's gone through. D3 damage, just a 1. That takes it down to 10. And then I've got some heavy bolt of fire coming in. Four heavy bolters. Oh, 
After my re-roll, I managed to get a few hits, two misses, so I uh, need fives and sixes to wound. One, two, three, four. It's going to be a minus one, meaning he's going to need threes. And he lost another wound. So that's now down to nine. This is not looking good. It's whether or not I overcharge with these. These, if any ones, are going to die. It's going to have to. I'm going to have to do it. Early doors. No ones. Thank God for that. But I did get four hits. I do need fours to wound. It is a minus four on this. Only one. It's minus four. He's going to need a six. No. No. That strips another two wounds off that. Reducing it down to seven. Whew. Right. <laughs> Let's move on to Cantor and his boys. Okay, so Cantor and his boys here have opened fire on the Rhino. Managed to actually score six wounds against... Sorry, four wounds against it, leaving it with six left. I've still got heavy bolters to fire from these three buildings. I'm not sure what I want to actually shoot at, to be honest. I think I'm just going to go one at a time and take it from there. So we're going to do this off camera, because it might be quite boring. So, <laughs> we'll give you a quick uh, shout out of what has actually happened when we come back. So, heavy bolters have opened fire. Chewed another wound off this, reducing that land raider down to five. And chewed another wound off the rhino, reducing that down to five. So the only thing really left is going to be some charging, which is going to be some scouts up here. And I think that's also going to go into that rhino there to try and block it from being able to move forward. So it'll probably have to go around it later, unless the guys pile out and then start hurting me. Um, but we'll come back after we've done some overwatch and we'll bring you into our charge phase for turn one So we charged in here uh, Combat 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 Didn't actually wound any of the bikers this time But I lost two scouts because the bikers decided to put all their attacks against the scouts rather than the primary intercessors um, Storm lost a wound on the way in and neither of these two really did any damage to each other I'm just trying to basically lock that rhino up so that he's gonna have to be forced to get out of the actual vehicle right so, we're going to go on to Granger's turn two. Da, da, da. Uh, no victory points for either side at the moment, but we've got a very badly damaged Land Raider. Bit of a badly damaged Rhino, but we've got some guys that are probably going to be coming down in Deep Strike. And we've also got uh, a lot, and I mean a lot, of infantry that's going to be piling out to try and get hold of these bunkers. We'll take you into the Chaos turn two. So a little bit of a synopsis of movement, um, his units have piled out of that Rhino and ran up here. Granger's arm is pretty quick because it can run and it can charge. Terminator's doing exactly the same thing because we've got assault weapons in the form of a combi melter in there. Uh, another melter gun here that's been ran up and the Rhino ran up as well. And his Hellbrute has also ran up. Um, so I've got a funny feeling I might lose a bunker or two. Probably two by the feel of this. I think he's uh, definitely got the tactics down to be able to destroy two of these things. Right then, Grange. Uh, what are you going to? You got some psychic first. What are you going to go with first? I'm going to smite over here first of all. Go ahead. So yeah, that's ten. ten. So it's D three. And that's lost three wounds. Down to three. There's no degrading profile on the storm, so that's not so bad. This guy, what's he doing? And then he's got infernal gaze. Infernal I'm gaze. Onto the bunker over there. No so problem. Been damaged. Bob charger five. Five. You say. It's passed. Uh, so rolls. Three dice. Any fours is a mortal wound. Two more ones. So that reduces this bunker down to 11. Slow but surely whittling and chewing away these bunkers. Into your shooting phase, have you got anything in particular you want to shoot with? Uh, yeah, many things. Many, many things. Um, anything to start with? Yep, yeah, we're going to fire the melter. Yep, yeah, into the scouts. Into the scouts. No problem. Missed. Missed. Four last cannons and yeah. heavy bolters into the damaged yep yeah, and you're down a bracket on there so also i don't know if you've, you've walked away from your lord yeah. so <laughs> righty oh so last cannons oh three eight two wounds that's not good that is not good. It's a minus of three, meaning I need I'm a six. I'm going to use a command point as well, that, and roll Ooh. that last one that failed. Okay. That's going to take me down to six. Go ahead. 
Yeah, so that's three. I didn't save any of them. Here we go. Ten. Ten? It's got a wound left. <laughs> oh dear. Here it goes. And then the heavy bolters. Yep. Yeah. Uh, two hits. No, no wounds. Have. Oh. Oh, his, his sorcerer does have a combi melter. So I'm guessing a melter. I'm going to try and put the combi melter into it. First no problem. Are you firing both or just a melter? Just the melter. Go ahead. This hit. Right, it cocks. Cocks. <laughs> it's wounded. wounded. Unfortunately, because it's a minus of four, I can't save that. So he's managed to take out that building. Does the building explode? That's definitely cocked. It does! Oh no! Disaster! So the explosion range on that was 2d6. Uh, done three wounds on my... Uh, it's D3 mortal wounds. So I've done three wounds on my fellow bunker. We got a seven and managed to take out two terminators. Lost one of the... Primaris Marines to the uh, the actual bunker collapsing. So what are you firing with the next, Grange? Pre uh, predator. Yeah. Everything into the Hellblasters. Everything into the Hellblasters. Radio. So Predator auto cannon first of all. Yep. For five, five shots. That's not good for me. That's Meaning a bit freeze. better. That's a bit better for you. All oh, right. Okay. Freeze again. Roll that one again, mate. So two wounds, is it minus one or two? It is a minus one. Minus one. So two saves, I'm in cover, needing freeze. <laughs> right, so one saved, one didn't. So that will actually kill another Hellblaster because it's three wounds. And then the last cannons. Two last cannons. One hit. hit. Twos. One wound. And I need a five or six. I don't know whether to count. I'm going to stop rolling there. Oh, there we go. <laughs> right, four. So D6 wounds. Six. That takes out another hell blaster. So they're now down to two. Melter gun from the running terminators into the bunker. It's missed. Missed. Because it's a minus one because he ran. Uh, same with this one. Same with that one. Yeah. Do it again. They, didn't, they didn't run, run. So. Um. I thought we did. No. Oh, sorry. No. Okay. No problem. No, they didn't. They just. Uh, so freeze. Sauntered out. Yep. And then fives. And with half range. Oh, yeah. Don't matter about half range. Nothing. Nothing. And I'm going to put the bolters into it. Bolt gonna, pistols. Yeah. Well, you can put the bolters and the bolt pistols into it. Uh, no, 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 they are just one. Bolt pistols. Well, have yeah, all, yeah, all yeah, just bolt yeah, pistols? Yeah, yeah. So one of them's got a, a bolt. I don't know. And you need sixes. No. no. So that bunker stands firm for the moment. Uh, anything else on your shooting phase? No. No problem. Right. And we're going to go into assault phase, there's going to be a lot of them. Uh, so we'll do some overwatch fire, and then when we come back it's going to be Granger's turn to assault. So we've got a hell of a lot charging this particular bunker here. Completely forgot, I'll be honest with you, building my army that Granger was so fast, I thought he might have not been able to get into charge range until at least turn three. Um, we've got this unit charged into the scouts. We're going to start with this unit here, I'm not going to interrupt. And probably going to be doing that one off camera because it seems like a foregone conclusion. Go on and Grange, what we got? Alright, so why some power fists? No problem. Any sixes? Yeah, you've got uh, three two, of them. three of them there. So I'll we'll, uh, get Explode some. Explode those. And an extra three hits, wow. These guys really hate these Crimson Fist Scouts. Probably for what happened in that city fight. Ah, yeah. well, that's and then, it. And, and then, then four. Whiffed. Four. No, 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 five, no, bet. No, no. five bet. Yeah, so that's four no. saves on the Scouts. Four saves on the scouts. I lost two. So that does mean that sergeant with a power fist is still alive. Next charging units over here. Yep. So the bunker has gone. This is taking Grange up to six points. He's destroyed two bunkers in one turn. It's not looking good for me at all. I kind of need the first turn, I think, on this game, to be honest with you. Um, down here, uh, we've managed, he's managed to kill off the scouts. But uh, the intercessors would put another wound onto the bikes. So we're going to take it into my turn two. I look quite devastated at this moment in time. Uh, I look quite mullered as well at this moment in time. 
Not quite sure what I'm going to do. Probably cry. But uh, <laughs> um, I'll, uh, I'll come back after my movement phase. So a bit of movement. Uh, the Canto and his lads have got out of that bunker. They're about to assault down here. They move forward, uh, possibly to try and engage all this lot. And so as the hell blasters, it's kind of all or nothing really. I have fired with the snipers already up here. They've put a wound onto the tank. Everything else just whiffed. And then the um, storm has broken from combat. Tried to shoot these marines and again, did nothing. I'm not really doing that much in the way of casualties to Grange. Um, and he's taking out my bunkers left, right and centre by the looks of this. Uh, I need to try and neutralise this lot before he tries to take that bunker out. He has gremlin cursed that one. So he's hitting sixes, because he's a bastard. But these are about to fire on the Terminators, and they are using the stratagem, which allows them to plus one to their wounding rolls. And the Terminators have gone. Uh, I've even done the uh, automatic heavy bolters, because that has to fire at the nearest target now, there's nobody occupying it. That's then done a wound to those. So Kanto fired, the Stern Guard fired, they annihilated them Terminators, managed to take them out. So the Centurions now, they're going to fire their heavy bolters and their rockets into the Land Raider. The last cannons are going to fire off into the distance into the Predator. So I'm going to start with the heavy bolters, create some room in the... So only three hit, the new fives. Ooh, three wounds with a minus of one on the Landy. Takes another wound off it, reduces them down to three. 3D free shots from the chest missiles. It's going to be six. That's four hits. I need fours. That's another three wounds with a minus of two. So he's on fours. Oh, two gone through. D3 damage apiece. Oh, you're kidding me. You are utterly kidding me. He's down to one. Bastard. Two last cannons then into the Predator. I'm knocking figures. Two hits. Two wounds with a minus of three. Only sixes. Nope. Seven. So that's really hurt that Predator. Not taking it out, but definitely hurt it. So that's now down to four. That's going to be a little bit crippled. These guys are going to fire... Standard, they're not going to overcharge. I do need fives to wound it, but if I overcharge, I've got a chance of killing myself. Don't want to do that, so I'm going to fire normally. All hit. Three fives. He needs three sixes because it's minus four. No. The vehicle is gone. No. Doesn't explode. So that's another point to me. So, so far, I've managed to kill two units this turn. Taking it down to a Grange lead now of five. And I don't think I've got a lot to fire. That storm's already shot, as I've mentioned. That's pretty much going to be it. It's going to be an assault time. So, charging. Let's see what happens here. There's a lot of assaults going off. All those lads have managed to surround the sorcerer to make sure that he can't break out in case he does survive. So if he does survive, that'll be quite amusing. They're still locked in combat down here. And then Kanto and his lads have charged all over this uh, other ruins of the, probably the rest of the wreckage of that particular bunker. I hopefully going to be able to annihilate these and then probably have to take a hit from the hell brute, but hey ho, that's what's going to have to happen. Um, so we'll roll some dice and uh, we'll see, we'll see what happens to folk. So we've gone through the combats because there weren't, there weren't going to be nothing fantastical to be honest. Um, bike, one at bikers have gone, one at Primaris Marines have gone. The, these guys tickled each other with soft, soft cheese and didn't do anything. And uh, these guys pretty much annihilated all of them except I completely forgot to reroll the ones to wound. So <laughs> I don't actually know how many uh, wounds I managed to do there. And he got one champion left alive, which he used two command points, putting him down to one. I used a command point in the charge phase to get Cantor in because he rolled a double one while on craters. Well done, boy. Did a couple of wounds on the Rhino, knocked that down to six. And that guy's still left, so he's got a Hell Brute unlocked. He's locked up. That thing over there is on four wound, that's on six. 
that's down to six. I am poised to be able to get some points if possible. The problem is, is just getting those points. So we're going to kick it into Granger's turn three. So guys, not a lot of movement. These guys are skittling up. Uh, probably just try and take out that and try and take out scouts. The Lord has moved round. He's more than likely going to try and engage this with his smite. And of course the Hellbrute has moved forward. Those guys have piled out, ready to charge into this melee mess down here. Nothing else to raise. The back's moved across. Don't know why that's happened, but he has done. And the, uh, the Predator's kind of stood still, probably to try and get a couple of shots into the bunker. Right, uh, so Psychic Phase and Grange, what are you going to do, good sir? Roll some double ones? That's yep. a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, this chap's going to be smiting. Smite, yep. So. Yep, just yep. cast it. Uh, D3, oh, that takes out the Primaris. And then Infernal Gaze. I'm guessing at the last Primaris. At the last so, Primaris. Yep. No, failed to cast. He's got one command point left. Are you going to use it? I don't know. I can't remember what you need. I think it was five. six. You needed a five. Wait, a five? <laughs> yeah. Yep, yeah, we checked. It is a five. Get rid of that last one. Oh, he's getting rid of his last command point. Get a one. Get a one! Ah, <laughs> damn you, lad! <laughs> Stupid game! Played by idiots! Wicked! Right, you let's have to do it the old fashioned way with a let, big saw. <laughs> let's get on to some some shooting. I'll get some shooting done, some shooting. I right. don't think there's a lot that actually is going to be able to shoot because a lot of it's still locked up in combat. But uh, yeah, these guys. These guys are going to fire yep. into the last land speed of storm. You're just going to fire everything into the land speed of storm? Yep. No problem. Okay, so his melter gun's going to be first. Hey! Whiffed. Bolts, pistols. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Toughness of five. No. no. Wicked. Right, that so. means I am charging that now. <laughs> <laughs> um, he, any, what about that? Uh, yeah, all this is now going to fire into the uh, there we go. Bastion. So, at last cannons. Yep. Yeah. One hit. Wait, is it? Oh, yeah, we'll, it will be second to last oh, profile yeah. on that one now, won't it? Uh, three will not do anything. Nope. Bounces off. And then, and then Predator the auto auto cannon. For two shots. Oh, really messed it up. Two, hit twice. No ones. Five. Hmm? Five and four you roll to hit, so you, you've hit twice. You okay. need threes normally. No. Just no ones. Okay, that's well done. So, the Bastion Bunker has actually survived that. That's pretty good. For now. For now. Actually, then, also we'll fire this plasma yeah, yeah. cannon. Into the bunker as well. That's a brilliant idea. D3 shots, is it? Yeah. For what? Uh, for one. D roll that because that will cock to you. Still uh, one. Still one. <laughs> I'm going to put that dice down when I'm about to fire a plasma weapon. Yeah. <laughs> um, that's two, which yeah. well, it, it could be cocked to be honest with you. We've got a lot of terrain that's cocking dice on this. So that's a hit. And that's a wound. What's the minus on that plasma gun? Is it three? three. Yeah. It's a six! Yeah. Bounces off. There we go. Unpainted figure. All that, all that was for absolutely nothing. <laughs> I'm not taking the figure off. I'm going to swap it for one of the painted ones. That's going to stay there now. Uh, right, so we're going to head off into some lushing, ch luscious charges. Oh dear. And uh, we'll take it from there. So he's charged into the land speed of storm, ignoring the scouts for now. The prince has multi charged into both units. And the hell brute has gone straight, and the guys have gone straight into my stern guard, which is why I needed him dead. Because if he had died, that would have been it then. I would have been able to overwatch fire and uh, give him some shoe. Um, but what are you going to go with first, then, Grange? Right, we'll Just start with to... over here. With a no bit of, probs. With a bit of power fist. Power fist, yep. He's hit once. Needs a three. He's whiffed. Uh, and then that's going to be seven attacks. Uh, no, two, four, six, seven. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> well done. I, I'm I'm good at math, me. So they're pretty we'll good. We'll yeah, explodey. Nothing at all. So get rid of that one. It's going to need fives. Oh, that's plenty. That'll that's four of them. Five. That is four. Four. Of them. <laughs> 
Is your missus an accountant, Grange? She is, so that's why I, <laughs> I have people that take care of all this counting that I can run. I don't blame myself. One wound. It's alive, Grange! It's alive! A bitterly disappointing. Bitterly disappointing for yourself, but it is alive. Um, because there's no interruptions, we might as well do the attacks back here. So, two attacks, both hit. And strength four, so no wound. Right now. So that's fine. On to the next one. So he's going with the Demon Prince next. He's going to put all of his hits in attacks into the Centurion Devastators. Malefic Talons will be in the grey. The rest of it is the sword. All hit. going to hurt. I am Toughness 5. I am Strength 7. 7, so you're going to need freeze. So the Malefic Talons don't do anything. And one... Well, that's enough. Them three there will be enough to murder those guys. What's the minus? Minus 2. Minus 2. Three saves, needing fours. One. So one of the Centurion Devastators goes down. So we've gone through his combat. Uh, they managed to knock off a wound and didn't kill it. Another Primaris Marine has died uh, down here to the bikes. He managed to kill the last of the Hellblasters, which gave him a point, and kill one of the Centurions with him. Um, down here, it didn't actually go that well. It did start off that well, where he only killed two men. And then the attacks back from the um, stern guard meant that I killed that unit off and reduced that down to three wounds. But Grange rolled a six, so it immediately attacked again and didn't whiff the second time round. So, <laughs> great. <laughs> so, and Kanto and his buddy only did one wound apiece against that rhino. Doing right well against that rhino, guys. Doing right well against that rhino. So, not quite sure what to do next. It's going to go into my turn. Pretty much everything is locked up in combat, including that, which means that the that's probably going to be the closest target for my uh, heavy bottle wielding thing. And then, of course, there's these guys up here, which can still shoot. Might pull them out of combat. But we're going to go into my turn, and we'll take it from there. So not a lot really happening in the movement phase. They're staying locked in combat. They fell out of combat. And that fell out of combat. I've already opened fire with that into them. Did nothing. Opened fire with these. The rocket fired into those guys. Nothing. The uh, four snipers fired into the, into the sorcerer. Nothing. The heavy bottles from here. Because of the nearest viable target was actually that uh, predator over there. I fired at it. Did two wounds. And he saved them both. So effectively that shot and did nothing. So I'm down to my combat, which I'm very limited at the moment down here because of what's actually happened. So let's, uh, let's I'm not going to do any charges, so I'm pretty much going to have to pick a unit and then Grange picks a unit and then I pick a unit. Oh, it's going to end up in a mess. But on saying that, I think I will be going with the Stern Guard first. So nine attacks, because I'm having them three attack those guys. Nine attacks. Needing freeze, and I get to re-roll failed hits. So can't all. Fours. Reroll any ones. I only got two wounds against them. And two saves. two saves. It's not looking good, guys. Four attacks from the sergeant. He's hit three times. Get them ones together. He's gonna need freeze. He's wounded three times. He saved one. That's two D3 damage. He's got the thank God for that. I've got the dread. I've got the dread. So the dread explodes. On a six. Two. It's a two. So I managed to get rid of that thing. There we go, that'll reduce it down to four points ahead of me. Because like, if you've watched my videos before, we like to go pluses and minuses, because it just it makes it more entertaining and you realise what you need. Um, so you get to choose a unit to go with next. Ooh. Rhino? Oh, lads. Them lads over there. Yeah. Go ahead then, sir. Right. Are we all that come? Yeah. Uh, so, oh, this is not good. There's more and more power fist no hits power there. Power fist hit. 
and another power fist hit. This is not looking great now. And then one more explosion yeah. on the normal attacks. No. No. Three power fist hits. This is this is going to be bad. Oh, only just as just, well. Just, just. Only just as just well. Blue will be for the power fists. I didn't save any of the power fist hits. So, the first power fist hit does two. two wounds, kills one. The second power fist hit does one wound, so the third one would do one wound, which kills another. So, I lost two primary marines to that one. Um, I'll now go with Kanto. There's no point fighting back down there. So five attacks with Kanto because he's within six inches of himself. We roll the ones. Now, see he does this every time. He hits four times and then never wounds. We roll ones. Look, oh, he's only wounded twice this time. So minus a three. <laughs> God's sake. <laughs> it's the you want to fight back with your rhino? It's the Neo of rhinos. It's sure <laughs> now. Go on. Uh, yeah, the rhino will hit back D3. Yeah. So, uh, two, two, attacks. two attacks. Not nothing. Yet. Nothing. And then the lieutenant needing twos, four attacks because of Kanto. Needing fives and sixes, re rolling ones. He got one six, minus a three. Way down to three. Oh, I can't believe that. Kanto did actually finally hit and wound. And then, we might as well go with them, lads. Alright then, how many we got left? Uh, you've got what? Four normal and a power fist. Four normal and a power fist. This is where it rolls another flurry of sixes. I can see it now. No. No. Oh, the power fist failed. Right. That's. Uh, there was two sixes there, though. So you yeah. might as well re-roll two of them dice. They both still failed. And it needs four. Three. All saved. So, soft cheese tickle time between those guys, especially with his power fist. I think it's just made out of rubber, to be honest with you. He's probably brought his, um, he's accidentally, because he was just looking at the lines, he's accidentally brought the wrong fist. Right. <laughs> so, I really didn't do anything there, to be honest. And just I did manage to get rid of the hell brute, which will probably mean, unless these guys start getting stuck in, I'm probably going to win the combat down here. Um, right. So, we're going to let it go on to Granger's turn four, and then we'll be back after his movement. So, Granger's remaining these locked in combat. Um, I should have moved them up, but never mind. Uh, these guys have moved round, have not actually gone after. I'll take that off now. My Centurions are probably going to try and smite them to death. These guys have ran from there up here, they're trying to get in touch with the scouts. And of course, this has run down this side. That's uh, basically, I'm guessing, just going to try and fire upon whatever's kind of left to try and take it out. So, smiting, I'm guessing? Uh, yeah, we'll start with smite. Uh, smite? Yeah. It's just past it. D3. For one. one. So, one of those is wounded. What's and the. Then uh, infernal gaze. Infernal gaze, which is a five. Got him yep. with a nine. And then he does. Uh, four dice. Oh, three dice. Three dice. Any fours is Any it? Fours. Two more more. Two! So in actual fact you will kill one of these. So leaving the sergeant left alive because he's the one with the last cannons. Right. Shooting phase. Shooting phase. I'm guessing some bolt pistols. Bolt pistols to start with. Yeah, you've got five, five and guys. Plasma. Oh and a plasma pistol. Oh dear. So plasma will be... I'll not be overcharging. Not be overcharging. You sure? <sighs> yeah. Go on, take your own power fist out, it's hilarious. No, I'm not. No, okay. no, no. And it would have hit as well, look. So, so everything's hit. Uh, hit. You need fours and threes. Two. And I am classed as being in cover because it is a shooting attack. Mm -hmm. So I save both, thankfully, Good. for being in cover. Well done, you. Uh, you don't get that against me, do you, Grange? No, because you cheated Crimson yeah. Fist. <laughs> right. Melter. Right, so we're into the proper shooting phase oh, yeah, now. Yeah. Melter gun yep. into the Centurion Dev. So hit on threes. So you hit? Yep, on a four. Wounded on threes. That's a oh, yeah, cock. That's Five. definitely a wound. Now, I'm on a one plus armour, because I'm a Centurion Devastator, which is infantry, in cover. So I'm on one plus, and it's a minus of four. I failed it. 
I think. Yeah. So standard metal gun, definitely gonna be within six inch. The two dice, pick the highest range. Oh, oh you oh! are joking me! <laughs> So he just stands there and just goes, bring it bro, bring it. <laughs> Surrounded by cackling energies of smite, may have put his aim off there, he only winged him. It's just a servo joint gone that. I'm guessing that might be targeting somebody. That yeah. is going to be shooting, last cannons are going to be going into him. Oh yes. The auto cannon is going to be going into the bunker. Radio. which oh. one would you like to do first? Auto cannon first. Auto cannon first. For two shots. Two shots. Needing fours, because tripled. One hit. Needing fives. No. Nothing. Two and shots into the Centurion Devastator. Last cannon. Needing fours. One finds its mark. It wounds him. He's on a one. Armour. It's a three. Oh, he's failed. I've got no command points. D6 damage. Uh -huh. Get a one. Oh, you are looking at that. <laughs> Turn that over. There we go! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, hang on. Right, okay. Caught that bit on camera. Very good. Uh, storm bottle from here fired up at scouts, done nothing. The storm bottle from the rhino that backed up also fired into this bunker and done nothing. This bunker's still unwounded at this moment in time. Uh, we're getting close to touchdown. Um, these guys, have, have you wanted to fire your metal gun? I don't know if I should. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to fire the melter gun. Melter gun. Misses. Miss. Right, so we're going to be going into some charge phases. Definitely going into some charge phases. Um, and then when we come back, we'll see what results we've got. Right, normally we don't record the overwatch. But he's just declared a charge into him. We've rolled to see if he's going to get in. He's definitely going to get in. I've rolled that for my last cannons. Oh, you are joking. So... I'm putting it back on camera because when we're on camera, I don't do very well. Just so Grange can feel better. See, only one wound there, Grange. Only one wound. Alright, demon save. Is five, five, up. five up. No. No. He's lost four wounds. D3 shots from his chest. One shot. He's not hit. So I believe he's got four wounds left. Me too. Right, so we've done all the combat. Kantor's finally got his fist out in his backside and destroyed that vehicle. That reduces it down to a deficit now of three, because that's a destroyed unit. Um, he whiffed with his guys, um, so they've lost another three. They lost three, didn't you? No, uh, two. Lost another two guys, yeah. so they'll be all right for a break test. He managed to destroy the Centurion, which we didn't actually add. So that takes it back up again to four. So, <laughs> down here... The scout has passed his test, he managed to kill four of them and it's only the scout that's left, poor bugger. And then the Primaris Marines have lost another one of their numbers, so slowly but surely this particular side is falling. But this has been a brutal, brutal game and one of the bunkers is still sat here, it's still alive. He needs to take this bunker out. So we're going to go into Crimson Fist's turn four. Right, okay, so Cantor's moved round here. Lieutenant, Lieutenant's moved forward. Uh, that guy's moved across down there. It might have been a mistake, to be honest. And this guy has fallen back to make sure that he doesn't fall victim to a power fist in the assault phase. The, yeah, they're murdering me slowly. And I'll be honest, four points difference. I need that to survive as much as possible. I did actually manage to kill one of these with a bolt pistol. The heavy bolters from here plus Cantor's bolter, because I can't fire at them, because they're actually the closest unit. Uh, stripped a wound off that. Cerberus launcher fired into this, did nothing. Heavy bolter fired down into the Predator and didn't do anything. Bolt pistols firing and doing nothing this turn. So in actual fact, I've not got a lot done this turn. It's terrible. So we're going to go, again, straight onto the charge phase. This has been a chargey and close combat game from the get-go. So we're going to go straight on to the assault phase. So a little bit of charging happening down here. I'm going to go with Cantor first. He has kind of abandoned them a little bit, but I think there's only two guys left and he's, the lieutenant's charged in. Still within six of each other. So Cantor fighting this demon prince. Re can't re-roll that two because that does count at the moment as a hit. So that's three hits on the demon prince. Needs freeze. 
He gets to re-roll ones. Canto can't kill him. He can't kill the Demon Prince. Five up. Yep. Five up. Every time he's gone into combat this time round, he has whiffed it. Grange were thinking that that were going to be no, it. I thought that nope. were game. I thought that were going to be game. Nope. He's absolutely just... Oh, every time I roll to wound with him. These guys. Lieutenant into those. Rerolling hits because of Canto. He does two wounds with a minus of three. Oh. So one of that. those is gone. I'm guessing the Power Fist guy is going to survive. Yes. Oh, apologies. Right. Dropping Clap. stuff. Clap. So I now get to pick a unit to fight with. I am going to go with them because if I go with those guys over there, he's going to go with them or possibly even him and stop Kanto from it out. Now they are within six to be able to get the rerolls because it's unit, but because he's within six of only him, he's the only one that gets an extra attack. So consolidating. And I'll do the Power Fist first. Three attacks. Uh, that actually does count as a miss. Still missed. Needing twos. Reroll ones. Need two sixes, Grange. No. No. So, I actually wipe that unit out. Gain myself a point. Taking it to a three point game. I'll just have a consolidation for them in a moment. Okay, so we've just done the combat down here because we can. Um, even though that's died. So, can't. Oh. Completely whiffing, attacking this damn thing. And then it's saving. I can't believe I needed threes with rerolls on ones. The amount of twos I've rolled. It took him about three turns to rack a rhino. Uh, right, so attacks back on him then. Yep. Right then, here we go. So, uh, a couple of sixes, so unfortunately, they because they're, they're stupid rules. They're yes, right. stupid so, rules. So that's with that many hits. Strength. Seven. So you need threes. This is going to hurt. Right. So he's got five. That needs four pluses, which cause three damage apiece, and then one which causes two damage. I have a funny feeling Tanto's gone here. Oh, definitely. Look at them fails. Just, oh, man. He, he's not even wearing his power armor today. We're just inspecting the front lines in his pants. So, <laughs> <laughs> so Kanto has gone. So that will take you back up to four. This is not looking good for this section of the battlefield. So, three inch consolidation with him. Yep. I'm guessing. Yep. He's going for the lieutenant there. Oh, yep. Right. So we're going to go now into Granger's turn five, where I think, if I'm not, if I'm brutally honest, he might be able to table me if he does it properly. So if you actually, <laughs> when have I ever done anything well, properly? Well, <laughs> I'll be honest, you could probably do it. I need to hold out, because if I hold out turn six, that's worth six points in and, and its current state. Mm. But I can't have that as a unit that's classed as being defensible. So I've got, I can't just have that figure on the table. So Grange, if he takes these guys out, he's going to win. This is getting to the wire. This is actually a really good campaign game. Right, so let's get into Grange's turn six. Right, so Granger's done some of his movements. He's got some guys coming up. We're about to go into the psychic phase. We've had a look. It actually doesn't mention anything, whether or not this actually counts as a unit. So, because we've paid points for it, we are going to count it as part of my army for the purposes of units. If anybody knows, if you can actually just link it or put it into the comments section for me, that'd be brilliant, and then we'll know for future games. But at the moment, we are counting that as part of uh, my actual army. So, Grange, uh, what are you doing first? Oh, right. look, two psychers. Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, I'll start with a bit of smiting. No problem. And I'll Which do it to the closest unit. So it's going to be from the Demon Prince. No problem. And it's going to be obviously on to your uh, lieutenant. Yep. So. Whatever that's going to be, it's, it's going to be, be an action. So. And it's going to cause two points. Two, point, two wounds against, against the Primaris Lieutenant. What's he doing? Uh, he's, go, he's going to be not smiting. He's not smiting. He's, he's going to be using the one. infernal gaze. No problem. I guess it'll be so three dice, three dice, any fours. Any fours, and that will be five wounds. I actually think he's dead. Yeah, so that's five wounds. So the Primaris Lieutenant has gone, which means that Grange is back up to plus five points. What next, good sir? Over here, sir. Yeah. Melter and the five, uh, four 
So oh. three, three yeah. bolts, can, uh, bolt pistols I can see. So we'll do the melts first. Yep. Yeah. Oh, cool. On a proper roll, on not a proper roll, not a throw. Yeah. Three, we're hit. It hit, yeah, because it's not ramp. He's uh, wounded. wounded. I am on a two plus because it is the unit with camo cloaks. So if I do get a six, I do stop this. Nope. So he's gone. So I don't know why. Sorry, I forgot to take the pin counter off. So that will take him now up to six. So depending, of course, upon what he does here, will depend on what I can actually do. So go on and Grange. Right. This one. Yep. Predator auto cannon. Yep. Into this chap. Yep. Last cannons. Yep. Into the bastion. No problem. Right. So the predator auto cannon first. first. Onto there. Number of shots. Four. That's four shots. In on fours. Two Wounding hits. on threes. Two wounds. Minus of one. Need fives to save. It's gone. Which will then take you up now to seven points ahead. And I've only really got those guys and two Primaris Marines plus the bunker left. Yeah. So the Laz cannons, when you're ready. Cannons? Yep, Lazars. One, one hit. hit. It's fives. No, four, sorry. Yep, it's wounded. Wounded. So I need a six. I don't get a six, I get a five. Damage of one. <sighs> so that takes that down to 19. Any other shooting? Oh, melter yep. gun here. Hmm? Melter gun yep, bolter. Melter gun is... Ooh, is it in range of a bastion? Right, okay. Right, so he's not in range of the bastion with his melter gun. He's going to fire into the stern guard. So... We've hit. hit. We've wounded. We've wounded. I am on a two plus because I'm in cover, so it's going to be a six. Ah, likes to show me the fives. Another stern, stern guard has been dropped. New model syndrome. I don't think I've used them before. Next. Mm -hmm. Yep. Bolters into there. No problem. No. Nothing. I'm guessing bolters into there as well from there. Yep. One, One hit. Wounded. wounded. Cocked. <laughs> Saved. Right, okay. A lot of cooked dice in this game. <sighs> right, I think that's all we're shooting then, fella. Yep. And do some charging. Going to do some charging. Right. Let's crack on. So in the assault phase, they've wiped them out. These guys managed to charge down here. They've wiped them out. Lost that. The only thing really I would have left would be the Bastion. And even if it survived everything that Grange could throw at it, I don't think it's going to get more than one unit killed. And it would only score six points, which would then mean that Grange would win by a point anyway. Even if it did destroy one unit. I think that's game. That is end of the game. That has been bloody and quite brutal, to be honest. I quite enjoy different style games like that. So... Right, thank you very much for watching. As you know, Root Stem, of course, is on YouTube. It's also on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash Root Stem Gaming. Uh, you can get some t shirts at Teespring. Just type in again, Root Stem Gaming. There's going to be some more designs go up there quite soon. Uh, and thanks for watching. If you want to see anything in particular, please comment below and we'll see if we can accommodate you. We'll see you again next time.